Welcome back to Switched to Linux. And today we're doing another Linux top five. And last week we looked at five alternatives to Ubuntu, but this week we are gonna look at five reasons you might want to use Ubuntu. Yes, it's a little controversial in this day and age. There's a lot of fighting back and forth about it. Even I myself have a few issues with Ubuntu, but still we wanna talk about five reasons why you might wanna consider Ubuntu for your switch to Linux or for your Linux application. The first of these is brand recognition. Ubuntu is definitely the most well-known Linux particularly to the non-Linux community. While it may not be the most popular for your hardcore Linux user, for those people that need to get something up and running with Linux, Ubuntu does make a lot of sense because the brand recognition is there. What other distribution do you find if you're switching to Linux or if you're looking for a Windows alternative that's not Mac, you do some basic internet searching and you're going to find Ubuntu, and you're going to find it very frequently. Those of us that use Linux a lot, you can spot Ubuntu on the background of a lot of different documentaries or shows or things that are featuring some type of Linux type thing. You will oftentimes find Ubuntu in the middle of all of that. So ultimately, the brand recognition is your first reason to use Ubuntu. Number two. Support for most hardware. Nearly anything and everything you're going to want to use is probably going to be supported by Ubuntu. Mostly due to the fact that each one of the new releases, whether it's an LTS or a point release, is always evolving the Linux kernel. The Linux kernel is the key to have the best hardware support. So no matter what type of hardware you're trying to run Ubuntu on, more often than not, you're going to find it working with Ubuntu out of the box. That's one of the core things they're trying to do is to get a system that works really well with all of the types of hardware that is available. Yes, they've started collecting the data that I am not a fan of. I still believe that if you say don't collect my data, it shouldn't collect anything. But still, that did give them an idea as to what types of systems people are using Ubuntu for. And so that also does help to support a few more systems, particularly some of the little odd systems people might be using that they didn't realize a lot of people are using for their Linux builds. So number two is support for most hardware. Number three, Ubuntu supports a wide variety of desktop environments. It's not nearly as much as Debian or Arch, but it does still support all of your major desktops that you might want to use. You have, of course, it's based on GNOME. They have a KDE build, an XFCE build, a Budgie build. They have pretty much every major desktop, except, very sadly to me, they don't have a Cinnamon build. Not to say you couldn't put Cinnamon on there, but official, well, they call them a community builds, where they have a good, solid, reputable team behind it. They do have a variety of Ubuntu with nearly every major desktop environment. So no matter what type of option you want to use to build your Linux system, you're probably going to have the ability to do it using Ubuntu. Number four, Ubuntu is on the leading edge of supporting new features. A lot of this has to do with the fact that they do have a big company behind it. They have a large team of people looking at some of the latest features. No matter what those features happen to be, you can lock and unlock Ubuntu with fingerprints if you have such hardware on your, on your systems. Of course, touch screens, online accounts, tablets, these types of things, your, your welcome drawing pads, all of these types of things are supported out of the box with Ubuntu without a real big problem. So you have a lot of new features. If there's some new feature you want to use and you don't want to go into the Arch world, Ubuntu is probably going to be your best place to support it. Certainly it's going to support newer features faster and possibly a little bit better than Debian is. Maybe or maybe not as fast as Fedora or Arch. But still, these new features, Ubuntu is going to be able to handle without any real problems at all. Number five is extensive online support communities. 
I believe there may be some options for paid support as well, but the online help for Ubuntu is absolutely second to none. Unlike many other Linux environments, Linux worlds out there, the forums for Ubuntu generally are a lot nicer than most of the other ones. They will have answered questions going back to about anything and everything because of the wide number of people who've used Ubuntu and how well it has been used over the years. Ubuntu itself does have better support forums. So if you're looking to get online, if you're looking to get a solution to some problem that you're having on your system, chances are a very simple internet search is going to lead you right to the answer with very clear instructions about how to fix the problem you have. So the online support for Ubuntu is absolutely extensive and that is one of the core and best features why I think that Ubuntu is a great system to use. So those are my reasons for using Ubuntu. Let me know your reasons to use Ubuntu, or if you want, tell me the reasons why you don't like using Ubuntu. I've certainly done plenty of videos like that over the years as well. It's not the perfect operating system, but it definitely fits a niche. It helps a lot of people switch to Linux. It provides maybe those training wheels to get in or some other system. So let me know your thoughts, your comments down below.